Welcome back to the channel, Tech For You, Tech That Matters. I am David, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings to implement inside OBS. Now, what am I talking about exactly? If you guys have a lot of equipment and different kind of software to capture audio, and you wanna make sure that it is perfect for your content, regardless if you're a YouTuber, or regardless if you're a podcaster, whatever you guys decide to do with your audio, and using OBS Studio, I'm gonna be showing you what settings to implement to make sure this is possible. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video and show you what is the best settings to implement inside OBS Studio. Okay guys, so here's OBS Studio. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go right into our settings. Uh, the, again, this is going to be a very short tutorial. Um, this is fairly easy for you guys if you already have equipment set up and ready to go. Uh, with me, I am using a condenser microphone. So everything's hooked up to my audio interface and to my phantom power supply. So now that we are in here and I have my equipment set up, hopefully you guys have all your setup too ready to go to get this set up with OBS Studio. Go into the settings here. Go into audio. That's tab right here. Now, where it says general, it's going to say sample rate. This is very important that you guys make sure that you line up your actual sample rate into OBS. The reason why I say this is because this is going to help you clarify the best audio. Um, if you have a uh, microphone like myself um, Because with me, I'm using a Windows 10 Dell computer and The sample rate on the computer is 44.1 if you are unsure of what you have All you have to do and I'm gonna minimize everything so you can see what I'm talking about and I'm hoping you guys can see What I'm doing go down here right click on your icon here with a horn So you want to right click at this and once you right click on here, you want to go to sounds. Let me see if I can minimize this. Actually, it won't let me because I have this open. So let's get out of here. Let's minimize this. Let's get out of, let's get out, get out of OBS. Sorry about that. Right click here, go to your sounds. Once you right click and you hit your sounds, you're going to have this box, this options here coming up. Do you want to go to communications? Or no, not communications. Let's go to playback, let's go to, re oh no, no, wait, 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 might be right, might be right. So, I've only done this once, and I actually had to learn on YouTube how to find this. So, let's go to advance. So yeah, right here. So, I'm running a two channel 24 bit. This is where I'm at, okay? So, once you find your sample rate with inside your settings, go ahead go back into OBS into your actual OBS settings and then once your settings loads up go back into your audio and implement your sample rate so mine was set to 44.1 on the PC this is where I have implemented on the channels go ahead and select stereo or if you guys are using an audio interface and you have two channels and they're based on mono you can go ahead and change this to mono if you want to. But if you want to have the best quality sound and audio, this is what I suggest to implement stereo. Now, global audio devices, where it says desktop audio, down here, right here where my mouse is at, is going to say out one through two. That's basically telling me, the computer is telling me right now, <coughs> excuse me that I have my audio interface turned on with my microphone and this is where my desktop audio is feeding from so I have the Behringer UMC 202 HD so whatever device you're using to pick up the audio you want to go ahead and select it at first it might say set by default or it could be set to disabled so you have to physically go in here and figure out which device you are using to capture audio once you select that make sure you keep the desktop audio to disabled you want to go down here where it says auxiliary audio 
go ahead and do the same thing. Select your audio, or wherever you're capturing audio from, you want to select that. Again, mine is the Behringer UMC 202 HD. So this is what I'm capturing. Once you get that done, go down to where it says meters and where it says decay rate, I have mine set to fast. This is what I would highly recommend keeping it at. Sample peak type, I'm sorry, peak meter type, where it says sample peak, I highly, highly, highly recommend keeping it on sample peak because if you were to choose other than this, it's gonna consume a lot more CPU usage, which could possibly slow down your OBS. So I would stay at Sample Peak, guys. Now, if you are monitoring your audio with your headphones from capturing audio from your microphone like I do, down here where it says Audio Mixer, this is where I'm monitoring the audio. Right here where it says Mic Slash Aux, this is me talking. This is the level that I'm going for, okay? This is how I monitor it. And with me wearing headphones, I'm monitoring the audio as well. So what you want to do here is select the device you're using to capture your audio. And it, again, it might be set to default or it could be set to speakers if you don't have anything set up yet to capture audio. So whatever your device is, select it here under monitoring device. Go ahead and check this box in where it says disable Windows audio ducking. Make sure you do that. Once you get your selections done in here, make sure to hit apply because if you hit OK without hitting the apply, none of, none of anything you've done in here is going to be saved. So it's very important that you do so. Hit apply, hit OK, and then you're done. That's basically it. Another thing I want to let you guys know is that when you're setting up your audio with an OBS and you get an echo, a background echo okay there's two things you want to consider number one do you have a, a webcam if you do have a webcam and you're experiencing this within OBS you have to consider the possibility that your webcams microphone is not disabled I'm going to show you how to fix that problem right now right here under sources it says main cam this is my main webcam okay I've already went ahead and done this. I've disabled the microphone, the built-in microphone with my camera. So I'm gonna do this. How you doing? And I'm gonna show you under audio mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Right here, this is main cam. This is it under sources. So right here, this is completely muted and I have it locked. So if I wanted to change the volume or mess the volume, it wouldn't allow me. So I have this locked. So you want to consider that this could be an issue on why you are having an echo effect when recording audio using OBS Studio. So make sure you look into that. Another thing that could possibly going on, be going on, and let me go back and um, let me hide this because I don't need this. Another thing that could be causing you uh, echo when recording audio. If you go into, actually, let's unmute this again. I apologize. Let's go on hide all. Okay. So if you already went ahead and muted your audio from your webcam, cool. But if you're still getting that audio effect echo, go to the gear icon here next to the webcam, right click and go to advanced audio properties. Once this loads, you want to make sure one thing is under where it says main cam, follow it all the way down here where it says audio monitoring, and make sure it says audio monitoring is turned off. If it's under monitor on or monitor and output, if, it's, if any of these two are on, just go ahead and hit monitor off. So make sure you get that done. Okay. Once you do that, go ahead and hit close. Your settings will be saved and that should resolve the issue with the echo and I'm going to hide this again because again I don't really have to have it so now that's done let's go back into your settings real quick I want to show you another flaw to what could be causing you to have an echo now I'm showing you this because I've had this issue more than once 
when I was hooking up my equipment, I had everything powered on. I had all the settings enabled under audio and I was still experiencing the echo in the background and I could not figure out what was causing it. So here is what could be causing it. If you have desktop audio 2 set to default, okay, that could cause you to have an echo when recording audio. So that's one thing you want to look out for. If you have nothing to record audio with when it comes to desktop 2, I'm sorry, desktop audio 2, you need to keep that disabled because that will cause interference. That will cause background echo. Other things here on the auxiliary 2 through 4, again, same rule applies as the desktop audio 2. If you don't have anything that's using the audio 2 through 4 as picking up audio, you need to disable this because this will also cause you to have an echo. But other than that, that should help you guys get started. I hope this video did help. If you did like this video, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. But until then, I will catch you all in the next video. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, guys. Peace.